Hey, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com, and this lesson we're going to be talking about short sweeps using diminished arpeggios. All right, so first let's look at a diminished chord. Okay, a diminished chord is just simply a one, a flat three, a flat five, and a double flat seventh of the major scale that you're working with. Um, so a flat double flat seven is basically just a six. So one flat three, flat five, and a six. That's your diminished chord. And we can use that chord as an arpeggio. So let's look at this chord that I'm playing here. And let's make it into an arpeggio. So right now I'm playing an F sharp, a uh, fully diminished chord. And I'm just playing an F sharp, fully diminished chord because this is in the key of G. Which we'll talk about why in a minute. But let's look at the chord. We're going to start out on the ninth fret on the fifth string. Playing that fret, moving down a string to the 10th fret, moving down another string to the 8th fret, down another string to the 10th fret again. So we stack them. Okay? So you can use your second finger, third finger, first finger, and fourth finger to play this chord. Alright, so if you separate those notes, you can play them as an arpeggio or a sweep. And I can play this by using my second, third, first, and third finger. That's my arpeggio, and I can just sweep through the strings real fast and play it as a sweep. So however you want to do it. Let's see a close-up of that. Alright, so we're going to start here on the ninth fret on F sharp. I'm just going to play that chord going down each string. So 9, 10, 8, and then 10 again. Alright, so there you have it. It's just a little sweep using a chord. All right, so we're doing the arpeggio of a chord, just making the chord into arpeggio. All right, so believe me or not, there's actually only three diminished chords. Okay, so yeah, you don't believe me, do you? Because there's a lot of chords out there. No, there's only three diminished. Let me prove this to you. Let's do, do a more easier, simple diminished chord. All right, so if you're looking at this like the uh, major scale, you're you know you're going from the major scale to a diminished. Like I said, we have a one, a flat three, a flat five, and a six. All right, so if we're starting on C, a C major chord is going to be a C, an E, a G, and a high C, right? You just play a normal C and you can find those notes in there. So that means the first note is going to be the same, C, the E is going to be flat, the G is going to be flat, and then the seventh note is a B, and it's going to be double flatted to a sixth, which is going to be an A. So the chords or the notes of a... Uh, of a C diminished chord is going to be C, E flat, G flat, and A. Okay, let's see if we can find those notes in the chord. We have a C, we have our G flat or F sharp here. Going down, we have our A, and we have our E flat as our last note. So it's not in the right order, but we still have those notes in the chord. Alright, so let's move this up four frets because we know that diminished is moving fours, right? So we move this whole chord up four frets. Let's see what notes we have in here now. We have an E flat, an A, a C, and a G flat. Okay? Now if you compare the two chords I just said, I said the notes in different orders, but basically we still had a C, an E flat, a G flat, and an A somewhere between those two chords. Okay, so if we move that chord up again, four frets, guess what we're going to have? Same four notes in another order. G flat, C, our E flat, and our A. All right, so there I proved it to you. So you only have basically three diminished chords because you have a C, a C sharp, and a D. Then once you get up to the fourth note, the D sharp, basically all those notes start repeating themselves. So by saying that, let's look at some of the patterns we can do with that. Okay, here's a diminished arpeggio, a short sweep or a short arpeggio that we can play. We're playing just four notes in 
every four notes of the diminished arpeggio. So we're starting here on an E. And we're just going up four notes each. Or positions by four. Okay, and we're turning that into an arpeggio that we don't have to keep on moving up that string with. Okay, so same four notes. And the way I'm going to play this is by starting with my third finger on the ninth fret on the third string and play three and go down to the eighth fret with my second finger and the sixth fret with my first finger and do a hammer on the ninth fret first string and do a pull off and go back down. And you can sweep through those. So you, you can start with this note, first note here on the third string, and just have your pick fall from string to string. Do a pull up, pull off with that finger. Stay close up with that. Actually, starting here on an E. Alright, so if we go back to the chord that we're talking about, how there's only three chords, we can basically move this up every four positions, or three notes, and it's the same arpeggio, but you're putting the notes in a different order. Okay, so we can start here on the ninth fret, move up three notes, or four positions, do the same arpeggio. Again. And then you can start doing quicker sweeps with it. So just fall with your pig and then pull up with your pig on the extreme. Okay, so you can see how that works out pretty cool. All right, so how can we use this diminished arpeggio or diminished scale or chord in a certain key? Well, in every key, the seventh tone or the seventh chord of that key is always the diminished, okay? So we're in the key of G right now, so let me explain this to you. If we play the G major scale, we have eight tones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We just count up to the seventh one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We find that it's an F sharp. Okay, so our F sharp is our tone that we can we can start a diminished arpeggio on. Now remember, you can do this on the fourth position of any note. So we, we found an F sharp, we could go up to the fourth position of that and start on an A. We could, but let's keep it simple for right now. We know that the F sharp is the seventh tone in the scale, so let's use the diminished arpeggio starting on the F sharp. So that's what that's why we start on the F sharp here. Alright, so if you're soloing in the key of G, perhaps playing this pentatonic uh, lead pattern, you're gonna add the F sharp diminished uh, arpeggio in there. However you want to. Or you can add the other diminished arpeggio that we talked about. And look, if you play this uh, F sharp diminished arpeggio, it's one fret away from being in the first position of the natural uh, G major pentatonic scale of the 12th fret. So E minor or G major with your B. Okay, so find the seventh tone, and that's where you can start a diminished arpeggio.